You can't forget where you come from. You always have to remember your roots. I was in John S. Hobart Elementary School from first grade through the fifth grade. It was a challenge growing up in the William Floyd school system. A lot of families struggling to get by. Um, but you know what, the, the families were, were strong in, in meeting those financial challenges. It's a community that, that knows that better days are ahead. First job was working at the Mastic Shirley Community Library. I was able to grow up with, uh, with four parents, because I had a stepmother and a, and a stepfather. And, uh, and their parents were alive. I was an only child with four parents and about 13 grandparents. And uh, I felt fortunate to have such a big family. My uncle was a Marine. Here's someone that barely got through high school who ends up retiring from the Marine Corps as an E-8 Master Sergeant, not just with a college degree, but with a graduate degree, the Chief Polygrapher for the United States Marine Corps. My grandparents served in World War II. I just knew that when the opportunity was going to be presented to me to sign up, I was going to do it in a second. I love the history, the, the camaraderie, the spirit de corps. It's an honor to put on the uniform. When I was on active duty in the Army, I had the opportunity to, to be a paratrooper with the 82nd Airborne Division. I was a prosecutor uh, for about a year and a half and a military magistrate after that. I had an opportunity to go overseas in, in Iraq. I have friends that have served three, four plus years in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. People that have been wounded. I know others that have been killed. And they're the ones that in my mind deserve that title of, of hero. For me, it was an honor to be able to serve alongside them. I decided to go to law school. I was interested in the law and how laws were made. I was interested in how laws were interpreted by our courts or misinterpreted by our courts. Well, I met my wife in, in Georgetown in Washington, D.C. My daughters were born in their 25th week, their second trimester. Uh, one of them was one pound six ounces. The other daughter was one pound ten ounces. Uh, Michaela and Ariana were not in good shape when they came out. There was multiple surgeries. Um, my, my daughter Michaela had a she had a stroke. She went to septic shock. Um, there were there were very sad times where Diane and I literally said goodbye. And, and fortunately, if you, if you meet them now, it's, you'd be shocked to know that they even went through this experience in the first place. It's a reminder not to take a breath for granted. My decision to come back home after I came off active duty was, was easy. I, I wanted to come back out to Suffolk County. I wanted to have the opportunity to raise my children, Michaela and Ariana, here in Suffolk County. Uh, we, we looked at a number of houses and probably talked to about 25, 30 sellers. And we didn't meet one person that was staying on Long Island. Every person we had a chance to talk to, moving down to North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida, because they can't afford to live here. The cost of living is too high. The quality of life suffers as a result. Right now, the Massachusetts Shirley community is going through some tough times. Our parents, grandparents, they've spent their whole lives in Long Island. They love it here, and they can't afford to stay. It's very tough to raise a family here in Long Island. I'm experiencing that right now. Uh, I work very hard at, at my job just to pay my bills. Every month, you're, you're struggling just to get by. I'm upset about the, the repeal of the star rebate check because property taxes are, are so high as it is. The reason why the star rebate check was taken away was so that the party leadership from New York City could take care of the city at the expense of Suffolk County. Uh, times are tough. And when times are tough, you need to tighten your belts, not by making it harder on those that you're elected to serve. The New York State government is making it harder for these businesses to create jobs. If Albany can just understand that higher taxes on businesses make it harder to create more jobs, why would a business that is somewhere else in this country want to move to New York State if they're going to be hit by a payroll tax, if they're going to be crushed by income taxes? We can bring more businesses to Suffolk County 
But in order to attract those businesses, we have to make New York State a more friendly state for businesses. Those that control the state legislature are not taking our country and our state in the right direction. It's unfair. The legislators up in Albany want to tax those that they represent more and more to, to support policies that are filled with fraud, waste, and abuse. You can never forget where you came from. I think that might be one of the biggest liabilities of some that serve in office today. It's, it's time to clean house, now more than ever. Why? Because the people that are serving up in Albany, down in Washington, they're forgetting where they came from. I want to have control of my government again. It feels right now like we are servants to Albany. Those that we elect to serve should be servants to us. They are supposed to represent us.